Hey guys, what is up? I'm going to be showing you how to install an upgraded fuel pump into your Nissan Hardbody. My case is a 96, 97. I have a 96 and a half, so it follows the 97 model year. I see that there aren't any videos out there to do this, and this is not my first time doing it. Um, but I like to get my second time on camera. Um, the first time I did this, I installed a cheap Evil Energy fuel pump. <clears throat> They're about 40 bucks on um amazon so i didn't have any problems out of it for a couple of months and then out of the blue um mine started giving me issues on me now saul the guy with the white truck on my channel he has that same fuel pump and hasn't had any issues so far but i wanted to go ahead um instead of having to do this over again for a third time i want to get this done not have to mess with it anymore so i bought a Deech works 300 pump um as you can see here it flows at 340 liters per hour at 40 psi blah 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 off-road use only whatever i'm gonna install this pump onto my truck so a couple things to go over first um it doesn't say anything there's a little film that's on this pump. I don't think it's going to be an issue, so I'm going to go ahead and run it. Uh, it looks like a sticker that they wrap their um, fuel pumps with, and I don't see any perforations to really rip it off or anything. So I'm going to leave it on there, see how it goes. Hopefully, it doesn't cause any issues down the road. Not a big deal. You can take the fuel, uh, you can take the bed off to get to the fuel pump in about 20 minutes if you have a lift. If you have a friend, it'll take you about 45 minutes or so to take the bed off. Um, the beds on these trucks are super easy. There are six main bolts that you have to get rid of. There are one on each leaf spring hanger that hold the bed up, and then there's two by the rear bumper. Then you have three bolts that hold the filler neck in where your gas door is. Remove those as well, and then unplug the tail lamp harness, which is located next to the spare tire holder up on the bedside underneath. And I'll show you those whenever I get to it. But for now, what I'm going to be doing is modding this stock fill hanger assembly, um, the sending unit. Now... This is a cheap eBay one. I'm replacing it because my truck has wiring issues as far as these connectors are loose on my stock one. I mean, it's almost 30 years old. It's got every right to be tired. So I'm just going to go ahead and replace it. Um, also, as you can see here, um, let's see if I can do this. this. This pump is slightly larger, both in length and in circumference. Um, it's not enough to see with your eye really but if you take the stock size pump in it fits very well into the housing um and it's kind of tight so let's flip this around the upgraded pump in my case this deech works it won't fit you can try to force it in it's not really going to want to go in so what i'm going to do is i'm probably going to take my angle grinder and cut alongside through here to make a relief cut um, that way it can just expand a little bit more. I'm sure if I sat here and f messed with the plastic portions in here, I don't know what you can see. You could probably get it to work a lot better, but in my case, I found that it works. Uh, that's how I did my last setup. And then I used two hose clamps to clamp this to the hanger assembly. So the important thing is to make sure that whenever you install this pump, the variable here is the actual hose this length is going to vary depending on the length of your pump what you're trying to accomplish is taking this stock pump size right as you can see it bottoms out in the casing here that's what you're trying to do with this new one so you're trying to get this to the same exact size as the previous setup and get that to basically bottom out like it normally would the reason for that is when you install this hanger assembly back this is spring loaded right so you have a little relief cut that holds this pump assembly in and when you press this down into your fuel tank what happens is it bottoms out like this right your fuel tank expands and contracts as it's full of fuel and you're driving around so this needs to be able to move freely without the actual pump and the strainer um bottoming out into the actual tank so you don't want your this to compress because your pump is hanging too low that's why i'm not cutting the bottom off of this you don't want the tank to smack into the um the strainer so just something to think about um it reduces your filtration area as well as might cause stress to your pump from you <clears throat> 
pushing it down over and over again through your drive cycle. So keep that in mind, guys. I'm going to skip to the part of me cutting this because I only have a, two hands and I want to focus on cutting this right. So I'll be back to you in a minute. Y'all are going to have to get over my messy shop. I have parts for three different vehicles in here, a bunch of Hondas, some Nissan trucks, I have parts in here for a Del Sol, Civic, my truck and Saul's truck at the moment. So again, bear with me. It's not your shot, y'all can get over it. And bear in mind that if y'all are doing this on a factory hanger assembly, that this is going to be full of gas so brushless tools that spark and you're going to be using a cutting disc just be careful what i would recommend is having this pump set out blowing it out with an air compressor making sure that there's no fuel in it at all don't do it around your field tank so that you don't catch your truck on fire and lose your investment okay so That should be good. That's nice and happy. <coughs> cool. All right. That's good. So everything lives nice and happy now. Now I just need to throw some hose clamps over this and a hose clamp around here, and I'm good to go. That is how you basically will mod one of these sending units work with an aftermarket pump. Now this will work with Tomei pumps because they're set up the exact same because I have a Tomei pump that I borrowed from my friend Carl in my truck right now. I got to give it back to him so I ordered a Deech Works. Um, but very simple. Throw some clamps around that, that, and then this down here to lock it in position where my, next to my pinky. Um, and then throw a hose clamp around the base to hold the pump in place to make sure it doesn't fall out. Put your sock on like normal and you're good to go. I will fast forward to tomorrow when this is going in the truck. I always forget something. So this orange strainer is a factory Deech Works strainer. It's not going to work unless you want to cut this up and make mangle the hell out of it. So you have to use the stock one. Don't forget to order this before you do it. That way, everything fits factory. That's the whole point of this video, is we want a factory finish fuel pump and strainer. Look at that. I'm missing three clamps, one around the base, two on the fuel lines. But I'm gonna tighten this up, put the new, new uh, little keeper in. These keepers are a pain in the ass, those. A little bit of super glue around here might not hurt or JB weld, but just give it adequate time to hold. That right there has to get replaced. So that is on. much better. Not going anywhere. Um, Deech works specifically. They come with two of these little retaining clips. Here's the old one. Um, be very careful installing these. They get lost very easily. So don't lose them. Okay, really super quick, um, just a quick wrap around here. You've got two hose clamps on the feed side from the pump to the fuel rail. As you can see, um, I use little uh, ring clamps or whatever you call them. One at the bottom of the fuel pump to hold it in place on that perforated edge of the tube. Also, something you might bump into in your, um, you know, bunch of different pumps out there, bunch of different lengths. So that steel tube that goes to the actual rail itself might need to might need to get cut down just a tad i had to cut like half an inch off of mine to make mine work don't have any issues with sealing so i just wanted to touch on that real quick before the install to those who have any questions and now we're at the super sick part of the video where i lost all my footage so here we have my ka running um, after the fuel pumps installed uh, source is going to be trust me bro i swear to god i have this pump in um, but I'm very sorry that I didn't get any footage of it. As you can see here, I've got good throttle response. Um, I'm using the stock fuel pressure regulator with this upgraded pump. Don't have any issues there. Here you can see what you can do with a big nasty fuel pump. And then the Pexi Neo. Um, I have a piggyback ECU. This Apexi basically goes down into my MAF signal wire, interrupts it, and then spits out 
a different percentage based on what I input into the Apexi uh, back to the ECU to trick it into sending more fuel. So with these two mods, I'm able to max out my injectors, uh, which are 370 cc's, which are the stock injector size. I'm able to max those out when I run a turbo. Um, I'm going to try to run about 7 PSI on a good tune with my Apexi and pull in the proper amount of timing as well. Um, what this will allow you to do is it allow you to run more boost in the future. It'll, this pump is E85 compatible as long as the rest of your lines, your fuel pressure regulator, as well as your injection have any issues whatsoever. As far as that's concerned, you have some way to tune it. Um, keep in mind that E85 runs a lot richer than just regular pump gas. So act accordingly, uh, fuel management wise, whatever. Um, again, sorry for losing the footage. Again, I don't know what happened. Um, if I have the bet off here in the next couple of weeks, which I've been doing a ton of work to the truck recently, and you, you guys have, I don't think you've ever seen it on the channel, but I've got some really big plans for it here soon. And if, uh, Lord willing, I'm going to be gapping Saul here soon. I've got quite a bit of money invested in this at the moment. So thanks again for watching. If you have any questions comments concerns or issues or anything you'd like to just share with the channel feel free to comment down below hit the subscribe button if you'd like to keep seeing videos like this i'm not really trying to grow my channel too much but i am interested in seeing what you other ka or hard body or 240 enthusiasts whatever even if you're just into somewhat decent content or that's at least what i'm trying to put out so again let me know what you guys think it helps me decide if i should keep running this channel um, it also helps me decide if i should post more often if you, what you guys want to see so thanks again uh, thanks for stopping by checking out my channel and my video and hope to see you on the next one